So on the one hand, you have what you could consider sort of the myth of the indie developer. The myth of the indie developer is a lot like, so say like, you know, the production of games like, you know, Binding of Isaac or Undertale or uh, uh, Stardew Valley, where you have sort of like the lone developer sort of laboring away by themselves until, you know, through like word of mouth and, you know, through hype and just generally sort of like the indiv- like the individual genius sort of works on and labors and loves this game and then the game they produce, the indie game that they make is one that sort of reflects their individual passions and sort of their individual interests and it's very much sort of outside of that corporate structure and the man and all of those things that try to keep you down etc etc (laughs) etc now I'm not I don't know you know, even as a Marxist, I tend to look at those sorts of things where people talk about like individual genius and, and roll my eyes because I'm just like, mm, okay, whatever. So that's the myth. And the thing is, the myth isn't unreal. Um, it is actually based in reality. I gave examples of real games that sort of fit that description. And it doesn't necessarily, and you know, when we're talking about sort of the mythic indie space, it doesn't even necessarily have to be one individual it could be you know a pair of people or it could be you know a group of friends or like you know people who are all in school together and they were in the same class and you know they worked on a game as part of their final project and their professor really liked it and they were like okay well maybe we should pitch this to a publisher and then they do and then it has you know great success so that's the one type. That's the sort of the mythic type. But again, grounded in... Re- like all myths, and this is important. So even though I call it a mythic type, it is still grounded in reality. Because if you think about sort of like the mythologies of ancient cultures, the point of myths, for the most part, is to actually explain some reality, some observable reality that they see around them. So like, you know, where did fire come from? Or why does the sun rise and set? It's Like, it's actually meant to have... There is still supposed to have some kind of explanatory power, and I think the the mythic conception of the indie developer does have a kind of explanatory power. 